It's New Year's Eve right now, so Happy New Year. Oh man, I'm tired, dude. So I have no clue what it is with my lobbies right now, but I genuinely don't think I've won a game in like a little bit now for some reason. For some reason, my teammates just don't play objective for the whole game. And it's just like, after a while, I just stop trying to play objective because I mean, hell, I'm not going to be leading a one man army, you know? It just reminded me, of, I saw a comment earlier on a video I made from like two months ago and this is when the game first came out, so everyone was still adjusting to the new playstyle in this game, and a lot of people were mad about it, of course. But anyways, I died to a camper or something like that in that video. And I guess I offended someone with something I said in that video because they commented something along the lines of, Oh, take into consideration that they paid $60 for the game and they can play how they want. I was just kind of thinking to myself, I mean, if that's how you want to think, everyone has a right to, to express their opinions. But I mean, are you telling me that you've never gotten mad because of how someone else was playing in a video game? I mean, if you haven't, good for you. You must have either you have really good self-control or you don't have a fuck to give. Not sure which one, but yeah, I just kind of found that comment funny. Comments on YouTube can always be weird, or like especially when people are like being negative towards your content. Because I remember one time I just shared a fucking video on YouTube Shorts of me getting my first zero build win in Fortnite, and then fucking someone was just like, "No one cares," and I was just like, "I don't fucking watch it," or like, it, "You clearly care a certain amount to leave a comment." There's also just a lot of hate towards smaller YouTubers nowadays. I kind of understand, but at the same time, eh. I mean, who wants to watch some nobody just, you know, talk about their bash, you know, certain shit or, you know, getting their first win, whatever it may be. But when Jeb does it, it's fine because, you know, he's a bigger YouTuber. When I bash campers and stuff like that, it's just like, oh, no, since this guy doesn't have any subscribers, he, you know, it's a strange world. Wait, what? Okay then. I am truly wondering where this game's gonna be by the end of the year. I don't see it much better than va the state Vanguard was in. Personally, I think Vanguard was even in a better position than it in a, at this point in its lifespan than MW2 is right now. I mean, this game is bleeding players pretty much every day. I like the game, don't get me wrong, it's just that it has very bad devs. If this game had devs that gave a fuck, then yeah, this game could be really good, but uh, sadly they don't. Hell, I don't even care about Warzone right now, I mean, look at the current state of Warzone. I try not to be negative and stuff, but it's just like, it's like Jeff said in his video earlier, there's just a lot of bad to talk about. And Blame Truth has also been discussing these topics on his channel. Of course, he goes way more into depth about it than me. Why? <laughs> Just mute your mic, my man. Overall, this game, it could really be a good game. It's just that devs aren't really putting enough effort into it, in my opinion. I am planning on playing Cold War and Vanguard, maybe even some Modern Warfare once, uh, you know, we're a couple months into 2023. I'm wondering how those games are going to hold up to this one. I don't think Vanguard is going to be much better than the current state of MW2. I do think Cold War is still in a pretty good state. I played it a couple months ago and I actually really had some fun. I just wish that I had the time to grind out camos on that game, like how I had time to do it in this game. I would have loved to be able to run around with DM Ultra and stuff like that. I wouldn't have done Atomic though, just because of the fact that Atomic just isn't worth it. Hell, I wouldn't even say Orion's worth it for the most part. Well, not that it's not worth it. It's worth it for what you need to do to get it, I'd say. Um, but if you had to do like what you had to do in Vanguard for Orion, I would say it's not even worth it. I'd still probably go for it because I'm a content creator now, but... Really, bro? I don't know why bro felt the need to shoot my body there. I mean, I wasn't the one running around with a riot shield in order to fucking get out of a gunfight there. But yeah, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I got a new microphone. So that is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Uh, I think the audio on it is pretty nice. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. What did I do? <laughs> People be weird, bro. Hey, 
Apex is better left the game after I killed him, holy shit. Listen man, if you're still playing Apex nowadays, shit man. You do you, but I'd go as far as to say that Warzone's better than Apex, and I don't even like Warzone. Apex is fine, I mean it's cool, but it's better games. But yeah, what did you guys do for New Year's? Um, at least New Year's Eve, I just hung out with family, um, which was really nice. I don't really get to hang out with family much often anymore, ever since, like, COVID happened. Well then, I've just been kind of casually playing. I'm not really playing this game, like, past couple fucking weeks or whatever. I've, like, you know, if you look at some of my gameplay, I've just been, you know, playing the fucking win and shit, like, going off, but... I don't know, the past couple days, I've just been trying to play casually. I mean, in this game, fucking hell, my voice cut out there for some reason. I've been having problems with my voice cutting out recently. And honestly, it's way more fun to play games casually. I mean, I love being good at video games. I love actually, like, you know, putting time into video games and getting good at them. But... It's not the greatest on your mental health at the end of the day. Kind of learned that from Butters after a while. Butters is like my favorite YouTuber, so... And you see how she grinds camos and plays video games, and, you know, she has like some of the best mental health on YouTube, I feel like. Like, she is one of the greatest YouTubers, um, personality-wise, so... Hey, bro, was there something I did? Do you not like Rocker or something? Like, why were you shooting my body all game? Are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> I was hoping to get an answer out of him, but... Eh. Anyways, that was my video for today. If you guys are new here and felt like you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. We're so close to 100 subs, and that's been the goal for this channel for a while now. But yeah, Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.